So JJ, a 5 mil win over Colne in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round this afternoon. How did you rate the overall performance from the lads? Yeah, I thought it was uh, it was very professional. You know, we always we always knew they were going to come here and they've got nothing to lose. The lowest ranked team left in it, and um, when you play a team against a team like that, it's always going to be difficult. But um, ultimately, we we done what we had to do. Um, it was never going to be easy, but um, we're through to the next round. And, and before the game, that's that's all we said really. We just wanted to be in the in the hat for Monday. Um, it's, it's massive for the club, you know. After after the summer that we've had here and, and the people who've, who've got the club back on its feet, it's for them really. You know, it's it's something that means a lot to me because I seen how it was last year, and um, an FA Cup run can really boost a club's finances. And for the people who've, who've put their, their hands in their pockets this year to save the club, it's it's for them really. And uh, um, hopefully on Monday we can get a good draw and it can help him even further. And of course you're a man with a bit of FA Cup history already in your career and today you've netted to go to six for the season so you know, how are you kind of feeling overall after that? Yeah it's, it's a competition I've been lucky enough to do very well in over the years and um, hopefully I can carry on again this season and, and do very well so um, yeah it's, it's hopefully we can get a good draw Monday um, everyone would probably want Sunderland away being from from this neck of the woods so it'd be nice if we can get something like that but um, whatever financially helps the club it's it's the main thing you know the FA Cup's massive in terms of that and um, we're through and hopefully we can get a good draw on Monday. And do you think the international stadium is now becoming the fortress that he's wanted to be at the start of the season with another win and another clean sheet here? Yeah, it's important. Clean sheets are important here. You know, we always back the front players to score and um, if we can keep them out at one end and, and put them in at the other end, then that's the most important thing. So um, it's nice. It's nice to get another win. It's, it's nice for the defenders and, and Mike especially to get another clean sheet because he is he's religious on it. You know, he works so hard with the defensive players to, to try and keep them clean sheets. And um, I know it means a lot to him and it means a lot to the back four and back five if you include Brad. So it's another it's another clean sheet and we want to we want to try and make this place a fortress you know we want to not concede any here if we can and, and we, like I say we'll always back our, our front players to score goals. And five different scorers today obviously yourself and Josh, Paul Blacker getting his first competitive goal, Greg getting his third and Jordan getting his second. How big is it that you know you've had obviously you two that are on form getting another goal but you've also had players who are just kind of starting their tally for the season also getting on the score sheet I'm delighted more for the, more for them than, than sort of myself and Josh you know it's it's hard being on the bench I've, I've had a few years of it so I understand what it's like but here we've got a great group um, ultimately it's, it's a group that gets on really well and, and when Blackie comes on and George comes on and even someone like Conor Oliver who's been out injured come on and do well it's it's brilliant to see you know I'm delighted for Jordan and, and Blackie to get their goals because they work hard every day in training and they're honest lads they're lovely lads and when you've got an honest bunch of lads who want to come in and do well for the team and that's the most important thing and hopefully they'll uh, they'll be able to kick on now if they if they come on again they'll be able to get more goals and they're going to play a vital part this season you know it's like, if we want to get promoted which is what we do and, and go far in cup competitions which is what we want to do then you're going to have to get people who are all together and pushing the same direction and, and people like Jordan and Blackie are, are typical people like that they want to try and help this club as best they can and, and hope they'll be able to do that before now in the end of the season. And of course the first round draw now coming up Obviously, a few football league teams coming into it. I imagine one that probably sticks out for you as well. Have you got a kind of a preference for who you're wanting to draw, or are you just wanting to be back here at the International Stadium, really? Yeah, it'd be lovely to be here. You know, a massive tie here for the football club. Like I said earlier, it's the people who help save the club. It's for them, for me. It really is because um, when, when the, the club is on its knees and um, these people come in and, and help the supporters of the club and people who care about the club, it's the FA Cup's finances. It's all about the romance of the FA Cup and um, it's all about players being on a platform to try and do well for themselves. So ultimately, we want a big club. You know, we'd love a we'd love a Sunderland, a Portsmouth, and Ipswich, um, and, and hopefully financially that could help the club. And uh, it would be nice. It'll be nice to get a massive one, and or would it be nice to get a smaller club and try and get through to the third round? But we'll see. We've done brilliant to get where we are, and, and hopefully on Monday the draw is favourable for us.